previous videos showed you how to make a thermocouple and how and where to place the thermocouples on the components. Now it's time to measure temperatures. I'm John Allen from Product Safety Consulting. We help companies obtain worldwide certifications, UL, CE, Mark, and all the NRTLs. So we use a Fluke Hydra for measuring temperatures. Comes with a nice card, up to 20 thermocouples per card. You put your thermocouples in, uh, secure them into the card, button up the card. It's real simple and make it easy. Plug into the back of the Hydra. Make sure you're turned on. Usually comes up sometimes with an error code and I think we're good now. Uh, and we go over to the software again, Fluke Hydra software. I have to set the clock, which does take some time. We use 10, 15 Hydras. It's a workhorse for us in the lab. And when you set this clock on the Hydra, it can take up to 45 seconds. Okay, now that the clock is set, Real simple, click on start. It'll download the configuration from the Hydra. You'll hear it click, click, click. And of course we have, we can do a quick plot. We will clear the previous. And you can see the temperatures are rising. Uh, very nice piece of equipment. Like I said, we have several of them in the lab. I just put, I'll put a, uh, so you can see the spike. Measuring every second the Fluke Hydra does. Other machines go quicker, but for certifications, we don't need it to go much quicker than that. Um, so that wraps up our series of temperature measuring videos. We showed you how to make a thermocouple, how and where to place the thermocouples on your product, and how to measure the temperatures. John Allen from Product Safety Consulting. If you're ever in need of certifications, we'd love to help you out.